How could you begin to fathom? You will never understand. Never! voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Who goes there? Show yourself! Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? Weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, she must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open, but the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I 
never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. take one through such a strange place with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, the quieter things are around you, the louder they are. I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. like to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line.
Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. can help. <laughs> I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila, as you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more... somehow. <sighs> the situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around and causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to say- Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. lives are at stake, why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. 
with you all accompanying. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into- Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. Passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. Here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Natasha said that the house... 
I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivertown's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful! Enemies ahead. These aren't like a uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. So, did she ever bring the facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape? Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it. It does seem a little... There's a bunch of crates piled over there. Maybe we can find what we're looking for. <sighs> Darn. How could they all be empty? Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess. But there are also... Mm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Ordained by the stars. Oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> this song's for you. Keep up. That's it. No manners, huh? Turn it up! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! My turn! <sighs> Gotta try hard sometimes! Watch this awesome move! Who invited you? <laughs> I 
Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! <laughs> Time for the main event. Keep up! Tough luck running into me! Let's make it quick. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock! My turn! Let's go! Reach the end of the story in your own way. strategy. Wax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you gonna get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Underworld knows that this brat is a no-good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. <sighs> Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. Shield? Are you 
kidding me? You want to negotiate? Me neither. I never bring my... You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. your dad again as an excuse. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here. W what's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer. Hey, thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. shopping street got it thanks for the tip that object was pretty important are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> From a young age, I must give him a chance, Zila. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way.
Alright. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs. Why do I feel like I've seen them before? Broken. <laughs> Time for the main event. Keep up. You're Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Tough luck running into me. Let's go. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Is up this way. I don't want to. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. This is our chance. Yourself, you can fight it or rock with it. <sighs> Rules are made to be broken. Broken.
looks good. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Almost there. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. <sighs> we made it! Hmm. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? No. No. Empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Enemy behind you! I've only seen this kind of... <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak... Time to get vigilant! Who will it be? This song's for you. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! Let's rock! Let's go! No, don't! Rules are made to be broken. To lose yourself, you can fight it or rock with it.
pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Tough luck running into me! Broken. Just a scratch. Tough luck running into me. Let's make it quick. Thank you. 